oh what's going on welcome back welcome back to the to the happy fun hour we're taking a mox ruby i don't love red but i like moxes and our our frames are down to about 200 now so that's just phenomenal and uh hopefully we can actually have a have a streamable you know thing that we're doing here today and uh you know if not oh now we're down to zero down to zero yeah fucking phenomenal definitely calling comcast after this because hunter shut up <laughs> he's so loud dude just shut up and lay there just just be quiet i don't know what to take here this pack's not super exciting maybe just blood crypt keep ourselves open let's take a blood crypt let's take this emrakul because i ain't even playing anymore i just want to be slamming down big fat eldrazis that's all i want we got a mox ruby and a blood crypt yeah this is where we're gonna be this is where we are um hmm. marsh flats seems pretty okay it goes kind of well with the other things uh i i don't have a stip right now no i, I mean i haven't picked one I'm going to do this Bredicus Maximus dip. Uh, these are just ones I can get out of the way. Uh, pretty easy. Draft, only draft magic cards, no Yu-Gi-Mon or Pokio. So, so far we've been doing good. I'm going to take Marsh Flats here. We can take Unis Prowler, we could discard this. We're not there yet though, so. Also, if you guys are saying Emrakul right now, you definitely need to refresh the stream because you are at least a minute behind. Probably due to all the drop frames, thanks to Comcast. <laughs> just don't, just shut him alone. dude i love hunter to death man he's my favorite he's my favorite son but he's just so grumbly right now and i'm just like can you can you keep it down a little bit he's like a loud roommate oh i like a colagon's command coca colagon's command yeah, we're definitely taking that. In tomb, eh? Oh boy. Oh boy. What if that blue eyes white white whatever it is is one one of these I just can't take it. Like it's it's in the step, man. I just can't take it. I'm taking in tomb here. on with the show this is it i say take the mox ruby here <laughs> see that's see now it's done raining the rain is done now it's literally bone dry in the sky it is bone dry in the sky looking at you it's bone dry in the sky i'm gonna take heartless act i like a good heartless act i'm not taking a double blue spell what's the matter with you what's the matter with you We got a Blood Crypt and a Marsh Flats and no blue cards. Take that double blue card. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Let's do that. Ritual's fine. Yeah, I, I could. I was definitely considering the Ritual. There's, there's, there's too many times in the cube where A, I have too much mana, and B, I would rather have an answer for a creature that's killing me. Are you okay? You haven't moved in two minutes? Is that true? I don't think so. I think you're making, I think you're making stuff up. Do you miss the constant rain in Florida? I definitely miss the Florida weather. Uh, heat notwithstanding. Like, I could do without the heat for Florida, but also, like, just the um, the the, the ambiance of the rain is super, super nice. Like, you'll just be sitting in, in the house, and it's kind of, like, dreary and rainy, and it's just, it's kind of nice. I'm making stuff up. I'm trying to be funny. It's not where Sammy, you have your moments. This guy won us games yesterday. And that was pretty cool. Unfortunately, this pack is not very good. I'm just going to take the scavenger. 
I'm not thrilled about it. I think Emrakul is an extremely Pokemon slash Yu-Gi-Oh type card. Ulamog. Okay. Shieldred. Okay. Rotting Reginald. Okay. Guys, we're reanimating, it looks like. Yeah, I'll just take a Midnight Reaper. I don't know if I'm going to play a Midnight Reaper, but I'll take it. Glory Bringer. God, I love a Glory Bringer. Bringing the glory. Two steps at once. Mono black spooky maybe getting there. Maybe. Um I actually added all of the courts from Commander Legends to my cube, and I don't know if it's any good. They could actually be busted. I kind of just like Verdant Catacombs here. Oh, what up, Jake P? Hmm. I don't think we need a worm coil. Living death could be decent. How do we get these things in the graveyard? Rotting Reggie? Maybe we just actually actively take living death and try to build living death. Let's do it. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. You know you know what? Let's do it. I'll take a flame tongue, Kavu. Oh, survival. Yeah, let's take a green card. Let's take a green card that we can pump tons of green mana into in our red-black deck. Come on, Mike. Get it together. See, when I'm trying to reanimate, they give me all these Kozilex and these these Ulamogs and these Emrakuls, and I'm just like, I can't reanimate these things, man. I can't do it. I'm sorry. <sighs> Maybe we're just putrid pimping. Big pimping. Putrid. E yeah, I got nothing here. Yeah, Imp is going to wheel. I mean, we could take a Leviathan. It's still a fine reanimate target. Could also take Languish, but I feel like it goes against Living Death. I don't want to kill a bunch of their things and then bring them back. Could just take Kozilek in case we do get... I'm taking Kozilek. In case we do get... Um, you know, throw the Rich Sneak Attack a third time. I like a Braid. Do I like a Lava Claw Reaches more? Maybe. No. No, I don't. I think a Braid is great. I want to have Artifact Removal. This pack's interesting. I might just take Golgari Signet here. Plateau is totally fine. Plateau also gives us multiple white sources. Pyroclasm's fine, but again, I don't want to kill a bunch of their guys. I did pass on Scarab God. I'm not... Not really... 
I mean, I'd rather have Signet than Petal. Could also play Wheel of Fortune for a living death. I think it might be Wheel of Fortune. That'd be pretty sweet. I mean, we're definitely hoping for Corpse, corpse Dance or, or, or uh, Shallow Grave, obviously. I want to take the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, Blightsteel and Massacre Worm. Oh, boy. Well, this guy's not getting reanimated. Duretti's pretty good, though. That is a that's a pretty solid discard outlet. Let's take a Duretti. Black Cleave Cliffs and a Grim Monolith, huh? Well, I'm taking the Grim Monolith. Maybe the Cliffs or the Lava Claw Reaches come back as well, and then I feel much better about that. I'm not going to pass a Grim Monolith, though. What, do I look like a dummy? Don't answer that. Uh, just take Hellrider. <sighs> I like Arakdos' return. I also like a Wear Tear. And if the Plateau comes back, we can splash it pretty easily. Yeah, I'll take that. We already have Glorybringer, Flame Tongue, a Braid, and Heartless Act. We got a good amount of removal. Hey, look, the survival came back. I'm stick Siege Sling. I always want to say Siege Gang. It's Sling Gang. Oh yeah, give me that languish. Watch your languish. There's the Lava Claw Reaches. Uh, has hurt is a very expensive discard outlet that very frequently does nothing on the board. You're asking me to play pay a four mana card that has no impact on the board whatsoever, that sits there, cannot attack, cannot block, and then being able to spend like three mana to discard of one card the very next turn. That's not, that's not what we want here. Oh, never defended it is good. Yeah, okay. Well, they can... We do need to reanimate cards here, just to be clear. We don't have anything that reanimates. We literally just have a bunch of fat idiots that we can't cast currently. So, you know. We got that going for us. I would take Copter, but I want you guys to... I want to I tell you guys something before you start saying Copter. We literally don't have a creature before turn four, or before turn three, so it's not ideal here. Did we three out the last one? You know we did. It still might be Copter. Actually, maybe it's Kite Sail Free Booty. Yeah, Free Booter's fine. Okay, I understand. Dude, I've got a big old hair strand here. Let's get that out of the way while I take this black lotus. There had to be a there had to be a soul ring. There just had to be a soul ring. So for this deck, because of these creatures, it might just be a recurring nightmare. And then we hope we can pick up like a bitter blossom or ophiomancer or something. Because right now we're seeing literal zero <laughs> reanimate cards. And it's so it sucks because these two can't even be put in the graveyard for living death. There's no way you take a mana dork over a over a lotus. Lotus is literally three mana dorks. I can't even imagine a situation where you take a mana dork over that. I mean, we have monolith, lotus, and mox. I'm just gonna take the Ugin. I mean, maybe makeshift mannequin's actually not bad with these guys. We kind of have to take it here. I'm just gonna animate dead or like reanimate. That's all I'm looking for here. You know what? I accept an exhum. That is a fair compromise. Sure. 
I could I literally couldn't tell if you were joking because you were like because Sol Ring is correct. I think it's probably the one card you'd take over Lotus. I'm not even sure you'd take Ancestral, but I think I did take an Ancestral over a Lotus at one point. So I I personally would take a Lotus or uh, Ancestral over Lotus, but I don't know if that's a uh, a super common thing to do. We could have literally all three of them. The one time... So last draft, we had Through the Breach and Sneak Attack. Didn't see Emrakul, Kozilek, or Ulamog. This draft, we see all three of them. Don't have a single way to put them into play. Love it. Love it. So it's either Packrat or Knight's Whisper here. I think it's Packrat. I mean, Warm Power Stone actually isn't terrible if we're trying to just cast these things, dude. Pyretic Ritual? We're just going to Ritual. We'll just be Ritualing all day. Let's Ritual again. Uh, Power Stone is the fixed soul ring. They're like, all right, pay two more. Don't use it the turn it comes into play, okay? It's very important. I kind of want Lotus Bloom here, to be honest. I feel like we are on the just cast these guys plan. We have Lotus Bloom, Lotus, Mox, soul ring. No, we don't have soul ring. Warm Power Stone. Flame Slash and Hero's Downfall are pretty nice. Hmm. We could also splash this Kaya. We have a Marsh Flats. I'm going to take Downfall. I want to be able to deal with a Planeswalker if I have to. Ooh, Avalanche Riders, eh? So I don't think I honestly don't think we're actually we have singling lang ling lang 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 lieutenant. I don't have I have no idea what I just said there. Ooh, I like a dire fleet daredevil just as a guy. Play him as a man. Now we need some cuts, huh? Look how many oh look how many guys we have now. Look how many look how many gangs we have. I actually do kind of like Avalanche Riders in here, to be honest with you. Um, turn one and Rotting Registrar is actually not bad. Unforgiven with the more bits, man. Really appreciate it, my dude. For, to, to be fair, we didn't go into this trying to do it. It just sort of worked out that way. Let's take out Nighthawk Scavenger. I mean, I'm very tempted to cut these two. I don't think they're great, but I do think they're quite good with Recurring Nightmare. I think this could be the deck. Um, So, do we want two of these? I think we can probably take out Kozilek. And I think one of these should not be a land. 
So probably Lotus Bloom, actually. I think this is probably correct. This seems good. So seven, eight, nine, ten, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's actually very good. All right, let's do it. 15 lands plus Ruby plus Lotus plus Lotus Bloom. Hellrider, Siege, and Sling. Like, we could actually just, yeah, we could actually just play a bunch of these, these dirtily boys. Good, 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 good. Good, good. A Lotus, Lotus Bloom actually is the fixed Black Lotus, yes. It's actually, it was in Time Spiral specifically as a throwback to Black Lotus, so. <laughs> oh see this is this is what we're this is what we're trying to do this is a turn one in tomb into a turn in tomb and exhume baby this is where they go spell pierce and you're gonna be like oh dang it oh god what if they do the same thing oh god i'm terrified really so, they're at least limited to the cards in their hand, right? So that's good. That's got to be okay. Shieldred or Ulamog? This is the question, I believe. If they get a Shieldred, it's pretty terrible for us. It's terrible either way, though, so we're going to get Ulamog. They might as well put something in there. They didn't put anything in there. Do they have no creatures in hand? Oh, boy. Oh, Chad, I'm sorry. I didn't even know you were here. Oh, they're just going to bounce it. That's pretty bad. Well, I guess we could play Rotting. Rod oh, they just they don't do anything. Magic's cool. Okay, that was... Uh, that was... <laughs> That was the turn there. That was a game. That was a whole game. That was a whole game. That's the whole ball of yarn, as they say. Yeah, if you guys are delayed, just hit refresh. Like... It's it's that simple. It's that easy. Snap this one off. Um, I'll ship a glory bringer.
I don't want a solution. I want to complain. Okay. Well, do you want a solution or do you want to complain? I want to complain. So I, I was I could have just played a regular land there because uh you know we were gonna braid this but I didn't realize I was braiding it until after I put this into play so there you go they didn't do anything you can do magic thank you so salty welcome back my dude how's Germany treating you guess where I am right now oh where are you I actually don't know. Germany? That would be my guess. Thank you for the resub, man. Really appreciate you. Well, that's unfortunate. You're being very childish right now. Hmm. Huh. I'm in taco. You're in Mexico? That's amazing. I hope you're having some Mexican food. I guess you'd have to be because that's how that works. All right. And boy, I have been in here in December as well, and I ate them every single day. That's that's amazing, dude. Oh, that's amazing. Man, I remember our, our burrito chats, and you're like, what's a burrito? And I was like, you should try one. And you're like, oh, my God, I had a burrito. Oh, man, this is wonderful. All right, so... Uh, we cannot entomb Living Death because they have they have Phyrexian Revoker on Warm Power Stone. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I mean, they have two mana, so we're just going to kill this guy. And then we're going to do ready. Oh, technology. <laughs> See, that's funny. Um... I actually don't want to discard anything. Is that that's fine, right? I don't have to. Do, I don't. I don't owe them anything. I don't owe them a discard. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I guess I'll have to discard this. Huh. So we could entomb like an Emrakul, or not an Emrakul, like an Ulamog, and just get them both back. That seems good. You can do magic. Do Why are they on his side of the board? <laughs> oh. This is terrible. All right, it's better now. Okay, see you later, little revoker. Oh, where'd you go, little guy? I mean, I knew they were going to come back. They just went there while he was choosing what revoker. To oh, they're going to Are they going to toxic deluge for 10? The answer is yes. Oh, wow. Um, let's get rid of both of these guys. Saucy. Uh, one, two, three, four. Activate this thing. I mean, this is five damage, right? Like, they're at five. We got lethal on board. Oh boy. Oh, Reginald. Reggie. Oh, that's little Reginald. Unfortunately, Emrakul shuffles our graveyard back, which is kind of 
annoying. I kind of still think we do it. Like both Exhum, no Exhum is not in there. That's fine. We're going to find something to play. Okay. Well, that is a thing, isn't it? Okie dokie. I mean, they have a discard outlet. They could have been looking for a discard outlet. Blightsteel Colossus. Okie dokie. And now I wish we played the Black Lotus. Five, six, seven. I'm actually just going to pay it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, if we, if we put that... Can you imagine if we played that Lotus, guys? Can you imagine? Okay, that's interesting. Oh, that actually lets us... Uh, well, no, it doesn't. So we can Entomb Lotus, right? And then we can Tap Worn Power Stone, sack it to get Lotus back. That's five mana, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you have any artifact creatures? I don't think so, which is kind of a sad a sad thing. Discard and choops. Where are your where's your lands? Oh, what up, Mitch? Where are your lands? Oh, look, they found something. They have two cards in hand, though. That's not... Phenomenal. They can't kill Doretti this turn. They can only get back, like, Ravenous Chupacabra. And we still have Lava Claw Reaches. You're getting back Choops? You're giving me the Lotus? Well, this is fascinating. So Doretti's going to... to, to Oh, they're just going face. What? This has been a wild ride. Hmm. I mean, is this just... if the, I guess if they say they're ready, then we have no choice but to entomb here. Okay, they have named Doretti. All right, let's entomb and see what we can hit. I don't think we have anything that actually works from the graveyard, unfortunately. So we're kind of just hoping for the for the draw here. Um, 
So we can actually cast a shield or we can cast lots of things. So I don't want to like minimize our chance of casting things. I might actually just put like a land in the graveyard. I mean, it's literally the best we can do here. Hey, that's actually not bad. That is surprisingly not terrible. I think we're just attacking with um, let's emblem <laughs> lotus uh, red black yep we're going to attack with this because if they don't have choops on board they can't get back Phyrexian Revoker without um, might as well pump I guess and now they have to block so so they can't play Recurring Nightmare and um, keep their keep their Chupacabra on the board. Right, like now they could, like if they had Chupacabra, they would be able to sacrifice Chupacabra to get back Revoker to shut off Duretti. Now if they want to shut off Duretti, they actually have to get rid of their Regisaur, so... And now we have infinite lotuses. I mean, we're definitely blocking. Maybe we're not blocking. They're at four? No, we're not going to... I think they're going to play Recurring Nightmare and get back, like, uh, Phyrexian Revoker here. So, I'm going to go to four. But if we attack with now we have now we can attack. Okay, so that's fine. So now they just have a two two on board. So hmm. they are dead. How are they dead? I mean, we could have waited till they played their guy, but I'd rather just get my Lotus back here. I don't think it matters, really, but... <sighs> Is a breeding their mocks better than a random card? I don't think so. <laughs> Joke's on me. <laughs> All right. If only we had a good artifact in our graveyard, like an Inkwell Leviathan, then we can get back. Okay, they didn't. They didn't play anything. Okay, the ready for two seems real good here. Okay, we can just cast that right. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Get Lotus back. 
if this survives until our turn, like, it's very good. I think we might have this. I don't know. <laughs> you usually get the win for ulting to ready and getting back Lotus. I mean, if they have any creature, they just get to kill our, our shielder, which is good. I don't know why this took so long. Like, you just get back Ravenous Chupacabra, kill the shielder, and then switch it out for, like, a Rotting Regisaur. Like, that was a super easy play. That took four minutes too long. Dire Fleet Daredevil getting Factor Fiction. Oh, we can get Reanimate? What does Reanimate do? It kills us? Okay, that's interesting. I mean, we can play Daredevil and Factor Fiction here, right? That seems amazing. Three, four, five, six. And then we at least have a blocker. Does reanimate do anything? I don't think so. There's nothing for three in our graveyards, unfortunately. <sighs> oh, hero's downfall. <laughs> That's the ticket. I mean, we're just taking the pile of four in it. We got a Doretti. We got a Mox Ruby and a Grim Monolith. Oh, also, it's worth noting if we negative Doretti to sack Warren Power Stone to get something back, the Warren Power Stone also comes back. So that's kind of a combo. 100% uh, taking this pile. Exhume, and they got a Choops. That's unfortunate. Hmm. We can get Ulamog, though. So here's what we're going to do. Three, four, five... One, two, three. Yeah, we're going to do this. Let's exhume. We'll get back Ulamog. Sure. You can kill the Dire Fleet. You got it. And then we'll play Regisaur. And then we get Lotus back too, which is pretty sweet. Oh, 
Oh, we should just play the land. I forgot we were discarding the Registaur. There's a lot going on. Okay, that's pretty good. That's really good. Wow. <sighs> that's really frustrating. So I guess they're getting back. We're still not dead. They have to sack one of their attackers. Sure. That's really good. Wow. It seems good. Well, we have to block. Well, now I'm glad we kept the Marsh Flats in hand. So this guy's lethal, huh? Okie dokie. Sack an artifact, return an artifact from your graveyard to the battlefield. That does nothing. God, Wheel of Fortune. That's a yikes for me, dog. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could Ugin and... Oh my God, we just killed him with Ugin? <laughs> Oh, yep, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Oh, my God. We would have also drawn our card for the turn. Uh, Duretied for one. Shuffled Emrakul back in. Wow. That was a game, dude. That was a game. All right. Let's see if we can do just as well this time. I'll keep this hand. Dire Fleet could just be bananas if they have Time Walker Ancestral. Clarkmere is fine. I see an Ulamog. I approve regardless of what the deck is. What up, Bob's Cleric? I mean, ideally they go Island Pass Ancestral and they go Dire Fleet Ancestral. I mean, alternatively, they just don't have Ancestral. Okay, we're halfway there. Oh, all right. Now it's getting, now it's getting weird. Exiling a Koth. Hmm. Okay. Well... Let's hit Grim Monolith or Worn Power Stone. Or Lotus. Let's just hit Lotus. Let's just let's go for broke. Black Lotus. It was a land. That's not as exciting. Okay, they've done nothing. It's neither of we. Sounds good. Okay. God, they've pitched three lands so far? Good grief. All right, let's see what kind of counterspell I have here. They can't cryptic command. Oh, interesting. This guy just resolved. Oh, hold on. Something's happening. Burst lightning. Sounds good. So 
So we can dire fleet burst lightning this guy. That seems okay. I'm actually glad we don't have any artifacts right now. That seems good. I might want to burst lightning that guy, but I don't have the mana for it right now, so. There are six lands in your graveyard right now. Oh, Katie's calling me. Hmm. So. We could. See, the problem is we can't Dire Fleet next turn and Burst Lightning this. Because it won't kill it. I think we actually just Dire Fleet kill this. I mean, you're casting the spell. You're not. It's not an alternate cost. No, you're literally casting it. You're you're casting the spell, and when you cast the spell, you can choose to use. Oh! <laughs> oh God! Oh dear! <laughs> Show and tell's a trap, ladies and gentlemen. Show and tell is a trap. Katie, my love. Hi, how are you? Guys, Katie said she didn't have the best of days. So can you guys send some positive words and thoughts to to Katie? AKA Mean Mugger. Wow. Ulamog was lethal, but uh, I don't know if you know this. I have an Emrakul in play. So... Now we're just going to hard cast Shieldred as well. It's your girl. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my God. We're going to literally just play Shieldred here. Wow, this game is amazing. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's a mama spaghetti. Well, that was pretty good. Katie, my dear, I love you, and I hope you I hope you feel better. And I'll see you soon. Um, man, remember that time they show and tell and put Emrakul and Ulamog into play, and we put Emrakul into play? That was wild. You're right, you're right. Ulamog, they had 20 cards exactly, and Ulamog would have, would have nugged him for Xaxes. But... Is that cooler? No. So. There you go. I think we're just submitting like this. Do we get to have tacos? Yes, they are cooking now and they should be done in about an hour and a half or so. So. Right, they did have, yeah, they did have a blue and a, and a red. So, like, or, like, I mean, like, you know, they could always bounce Ulamog, but you can't bounce an Emrakul because it's got protection from colored spells. 
simmering tacos 1.5 hour what are you saying right now thrift and mitch <laughs> An hour and a half for tacos. They're in the crock pot. They're they're gonna they're slow cooking right now, so they have an hour and a half left. Um, you know what? Because you got show and tell, I'm gonna keep this hand. I'm gonna keep it. Uh oh. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Not going to play it yet, but that's pretty sweet. What if we draw Grim Monolith? Is that... That's almost enough to just hard cast this Ulamog? That would be pretty wild. <sighs> okay. Okay. I want to play this guy because I don't really want to... Uh, I want to minimize their chances. Um. So what I do is I put the taco... The I put... I, put, the, I use chicken breasts because I don't need a ton of non-chicken meat, if any. None, basically. Uh, I, I clean them. I put them in the crock pot. I add garlic, taco seasoning, uh, chipotles and adobo. I cut up some chipotles and adobo and, um, I add like a eight ounces of salsa about, and then I cook them for about, you know, four hours on high or like six to eight hours on low. Ashen Rider and Ulamog, but you're playing a blue-red deck. I'm not sure I follow this deck. And then I cut up a bunch of onion and cilantro I put on the side. And, um... What's that leafy taco seasoning people add? I'm pretty sure you're thinking of cilantro. And then, like, once it's, at, once it's at the end of its cook, it, like, almost falls apart, so. And you put the lime in the coconut in the bowl. You put the lime in the coconut in the bowl together. I kind of just want to kill this guy. Ooh, throw it under the boiler. <laughs> They're the best tacos ever. You're you're being far too generous, and I love you. Um, I just don't really want to take four here. Oh, it is Tuesday, so it's technically Taco Tuesday. I didn't even think about that. Man. How fitting. Burning of Zinyi. What is this deck we're looking at here? Oh my god, I was literally going to say if we draw Shouldered, we can play it. That's wild. Okay. Well, we're getting there. Rewarded for not saying it. It's not technically Taco Tuesday. It is Taco Tuesday. I don't have any idea what he's talking about. He sounds crazy. I mean, if this means they have to sack their other guy and waste another spell on Shielder, that's totally fine. You put the lime in the coconut and drink the bowl up. Well, they're just going to sack this guy? That's pretty cool. Dire Fleet does not do anything right now. So I'll, I'll be content attacking for six, keeping up Hero's Downfall, and uh, letting them sack their Thundermaw Hellkite. Kite. 
Got her again. So this is like a... So they lost 1-1 one, one token, 1-1 one, one token. All counted as one card. Thunder Maw, Abrade, Mizzy Mortars, and Incinerate. And we traded one makeshift mannequin and one shield red. So that's like a five for two. I mean, that seems just fine. <coughs> They're also at a virtual seven thanks to Dire Fleet, so. Oh, that guy's good. He's dead, but he's good. Actually, maybe we attack and exert? No, I just want to kill this guy. So they're dead on board. Burst lightning kick. They are no longer dead on board. But we do get to Dire Fleet and... Uh, See, that doesn't do anything. Oh, no, we don't. We're actually one mana shy of this. That's really sad. Plus X, one, two, done. Put them to two. All right, so now they're dead on board. Yeah, that's, that's fine. They put the rhyme in the... Okay, they're just going to concede. <laughs> Got him. Wow, our deck is, is crushing it. This is very good. We're doing okay. Katie, we're 2-0. Oh, man, Katie and Moochel are in the chat, guys. The entire Frank, Katie, Michael household is in the chat. Casting the stream to the big TV seems to be confusing my cats for some reason. Oh, boy. This hand seems fine. I'm going to keep it. Oh, boy. I would like one more land. What can we do on turn one? One, two, three, four, five. The answer is nothing oh this is a lotus blue i thought it was a black lotus so that's even better actually because it f it forces me to not use it immediately so yes i did see this boston dynamics video it's fantastic oh my god what a great hit you gonna bounce this oh you got mystical tutor oh interesting isn't that special? Hero Scaper guy, you have... I am in the same position you are, my dude. Well, we are one turn away, unfortunately, unless we hit Black Lotus here. Oh, God. That's not Black Lotus. I have nothing to do except for die. Okay, sounds good. Well, I guess I didn't have good luck. Doctor. <clears throat> All right, I think we're just gonna. I think we're gonna submit like this. I think it's fine. <laughs> oh, this is the this is the ticket. This is the ticket. Boom, ba ba boom, ba ba boom, ba ba boom, 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 ba ba boom, ba ba boom, ba ba boom, boom, boom. Okay, you got it. Oh boy, we're having a time. We are having a time. Here comes Tinker on turn one. Okay. <laughs> it's two in a row. It's 
it's too it's too good it's good oh but you know what's even better she 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 older red we'll see we'll see if this works They can't daze. <laughs> I would be surprised if they could force a will here. Hey, where'd your blight steel go? Oh, it's in the garbage can. Oh, it's actually back in your deck. Oh, see you later. I'm sorry you wasted all your cards on it. Mm, actually, do we will a fortune here? No. No, we do not. We have a very good board position. I was thinking if we discarded some creatures to get back with Shieldred, we could... Uh... Isn't Ulamog just better? No, Ulamog doesn't get rid of their Blightsteel, and we can't attack through an Ulamog. Like, we can mill them for 20, and then they crack back and kill us. Like, it's funny, because like, the, the Blightsteel's not on the board anymore. It's gone. So how is Ulamog better? We don't, we're not casting it, keep in mind. You don't get to exile it. You're you're just you're just putting it into play. Mmm. Nice tinker nerd. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to wait for them to do something. Uh, if they have Cryptic Command, they get to go bounce counter, and then we just don't have a win. Yeah, they also... Yeah, this seems good. I said, Doctor! I'm going to bring this Wear Tear in. When is my birthday? My birthday is in June. So quite a ways away. Man, really like to thank Brett for the uh, only draft magic cards, no Yu-Gi-Mon or Pokio cards. I think this deck turned out pretty good. Let's take Wheel of Fortune out. Happy birthday. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll keep this. Oh my god, we have a Dire Fleet Daredevil, so we get to Ancestral too. Hoo-hoo! It's all happening! Alright, so... One, two... I might just want Warm Power Stone on turn one, actually. What is this? One, two, three, four... This would be three. We'd go. We have one, two, three, four, five. We'd have to discard a card. I think we're actually just playing Warren Power Stone here. <clears throat> I'm going to assume we'll hit a red. Yeah, I mean, like, we have no red, sure, but this isn't going anywhere, so. Oh, my God. Jesus. Hold on, I'm just trying to... <coughs> A sad doctor. Oh, they just didn't do anything. Hmm. Alright, well, we did not hit a land, unfortunately. Even though we turn one Lotus into Warm Power Stone. Should have direfully daredeviled. The problem was, we were going to have a full grip anyway. We were going to have to discard a card, and, like, we couldn't even play an extra land. So it wasn't like, we didn't we didn't uh, improve our board position at all. We just put a guy on the board.
Okay, that's pretty hilarious, actually. But this is a matchup where we could possibly just win with Pack Rat. Let's get rid of Wear Tear here. Well, to be fair, we've drawn two cards so far. One was Lotus, one was Pack Rat. So we would have only been one card deeper here. Oh, they're going to Mystical Tutor. They're not going to Mystical Tutor. They have eight cards in hand? Good lord. Uh, CTB, it's send them on down to Rat Train. Get it correct. Unbelievable. You guys call yourself fans. Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the red train? Also, this thing comes down next... No, the turn after next turn. So, I guess we got a little ways to go. There's a red source. <clears throat> you know what? It's okay. Let's get Ancestral. You gonna counter this? Sure, you got it. I mean, we're still in good shape. We still have three bodies on the board. We have a Lotus Bloom coming down soon. We have a Hero's Downfall if they play a creature. Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah, well, we're, things are happening right now. So they're gonna have seven mana. Yeah, I think we just have been a little too slow this game, unfortunately. Thank you! Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. Oh, Codine with the resub. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you guys for the support. Really, really appreciate y'all. Okay, Mock Sapphire. Well, <coughs> this is a thing. Oh man, Brain Freeze would be phenomenal. Tesseract's good. Search for zero. Here comes Black Lotus. To go with their mocks and ancestral recall. <laughs> wow. Talk about having it all, man. Tinker Lotus Mox Ancestral Recall. Seems good. Storm counter is up. I don't know if that's relevant, but they didn't do anything, that's it. So now we get to just untap with a heartbeat of spring in play? Oh boy! <clears throat> That's a thing. That is a thing that exists. They might have to block here. One, two, three, four, five. We have eight mana. More with Grim Monolith. Six. This is six. They go to seven. Hmm. The problem is there's no way for us to actually cast Kolagon's Command 
and pack rat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That puts them to five. Destroy an artifact. Sure. Let's discard Swamp because Marsh Flats gets... sure <clears throat> I don't know what this is going to be um, I guess I'm a little scared of it maybe time twister okay I mean, they're at five. <clears throat> Time Twister is cool and all, but I got rats for days. Blightsteel doesn't kill us. They're not in a situation to brain freeze us. So upheaval would be actually terrible. Yep. <laughs> got to keep the, the avalanche ride, or the keep the Ugin. Yeah, upheaval would be, be rough. But we still have, we actually have Lotus Bloom coming down next turn, which is kind of funny. So we can go like Lotus Bloom, Land, Monolith. You know, other things, I guess. I don't know. Oh, are they storming? That for zero is an indicator of a storm. Searching for four. Lotus Petal. <laughs> oh, are they just digging? Whoa! 3-0 with this deck. Oh, man. Super sweet. Brett, thank you so much for the stip, man. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you guys want to support the channel, head over to twitch.tv slash franklapore and be sure to follow or subscribe. It's, it's one of my primary sources of income. It's the best way to support a content creator or a streamer that you enjoy, especially when I'm live five or six days a week. And uh, really appreciate it. Oh, Unforgiven, thank you for the bits, buddy. Really, really appreciate it, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. So much for the bits and the sub, subs, and I'll see you guys next time.